Wireless surround sound systems are becoming a big trend, especially for those who do not have any scope for cabling. Now we know that Dolby Atmos soundbars can be a go-to product, especially for small living rooms, wherein we want to have that Atmos experience, but we do not want to do any cabling at all. Now in our recent video of top 5 soundbars of 2024, the second ranked product was JBL Bar 1300 and we have finally got our hands on experience with the JBL Bar 1300. And in today's video, I am going to break down this product for you with regards to the unboxing, review, actual live demo and we are also going to compare it with the JBL Bar 1000, the predecessor of this model. JBL has got a signature style of packaging their soundbars. If you remember from our old video of JBL Bar 9.1, I was actually sitting on this chair because the packaging is more like a chair with the subwoofer in the front and the entire bar unit along with its accessories sitting at the back. As shown in the video, the soundbar comes with a wireless subwoofer, the power sockets, the required HDMI and optical cables as well as the mounting brackets which is a cherry on the top for this category. Because most of the soundbars like Sonos or Bose do not give you the mounting kit as an accessory within the box, they ask you to pay extra. And this amount can vary somewhere between 6000 to all the way up to 10,000 rupees. The JBL Bar 1300 follows the same design identity of JBL soundbars with detachable surround sound speakers. The main soundbar is of 40 inches width, but when you add the detachable speakers to the main bar unit, the total width of the speaker goes all the way up to 54 inches which is four and a half feet the wireless subwoofer is similar to the older models of jbl bar 9.1 the down firing punch that comes from the subwoofer is good enough for a room from 100 to 200 square feet the total wattage of this soundbar along with the subwoofer goes up to 1170 watts rms and with three hdmi inputs and one hdmi earc output the connectivity options are also a lot more than a traditional soundbar. The AirPlay 2 compatibility, Alexa compatibility, Google Chromecast built-in support is all there in this soundbar and it also has got a 4K support for video playbacks. Now one of the most common fear that we all have when it comes to soundbar is whether it will be able to match in terms of performance to a wired component system. Now with regards to the width, I know that this soundbar is not just compatible with a regular or a bigger TV size but it can also be used with a projector screen. So what we did as an exercise is that we got this soundbar in our demo room, connected it to the projector and the screen, and we actually compared it with a wired component system, which is probably around the same price range. And to our surprise, the soundbar performance was really nice. To achieve this nice experience, we had to really follow each and every step as mentioned in the soundbar's manual. First of all, the viewing distance is really important. If I keep the soundbar more than 10 to 12 feet away from my weaving position, I am not going to get a great sound experience. So we try to maintain the weaving distance by keeping it around 10.25 feet as mentioned in the manual. The second thing that we did was to put the surround speakers not flat but a little tilted position and we first kept it on the armrests of the chairs. Now while I did that, I could sense the sound coming from one ear, but I couldn't feel the surround impact from the second detachable speaker. So I elevated the height and this time I kept it on the backrests of the two corner chairs. And to my surprise, now I could feel the surround sound from both the speakers. Now when I did that, even the Atmos experiences got elevated because now the speakers were closer to the ceiling and the reflection was working in my favor. Coming to the software front of this soundbar, JBL has been focusing a lot to develop its products based upon multi-room as a technology as well as more standardized control using the mobile app connectivity. Now JBL One app is one such application which is compatible with the JBL Bar 1300 and this app actually helps you calibrate the soundbar properly. It tells you the right instructions at right moment. It gives you the equalizer support and lastly it also offers a remote control setup. So with the app you can actually now customize the entire music or movie experience feel for your room. Now in the JBL Bar 9.1, I had come across one request which was very very common. That can I use the detachable speakers of the soundbar as a separate Bluetooth speaker altogether? Well, guess what? 
JBL actually heard you guys and in this JBL bar 1300 they gave you these two speakers which can be combined together and they can act as one single Bluetooth speaker for another room. Now obviously for charging you can connect it directly to the USB-C plugs or you can take it back to the main station and connect it for charging. One of the most common complaint of soundbar users is that we cannot hear the vocals very very properly. If this has been your challenge too, then make sure to watch the video that is shared above because in that video, we have actually given some understanding as to when will soundbars work and when should you buy them. Now, most of the soundbars company today have given an extra button or they are trying to come up with some sort of technology to increase the center channel enhancement. In JBL's case, they tried to work around this problem by adding a layer of a new technology, which is the pure voice dialogue enhancement technology. Now, while that technology, I don't think really worked in our case and we were still struggling to get the vocals to that great level, which I thought of getting it after paying 1.5 lakhs on this soundbar. And even if you see the remote control, it does not have a direct button for increasing the center channel speaker sound. You have got buttons for rare speakers, the bass and overall the soundbar volume but there is no separate button to increase the center speaker sound. Now, JBL Bar 1300 overall is a great product, but when it comes to the price point of 1.5 lakh rupees, which is 50,000 over the Bar 1000, I am really not getting an extra half time jump from the experience. The sound experience is almost going to remain the same, a little bit of compromise considering the output wattage to be reduced to 880 with JBL Bar 1000. But one of the only flex that I can have with Bar 1300 is this detachable speaker which can be used as a separate speaker. If you do not need this, then settle in with JBL Bar 1000. Bar 1300 may not be mandatory for you. And if you have got either of these two soundbars or have compared it with some other soundbars, then let me know in the comment section below. That's it from my end. I Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will see you again in our next video. Thank you so much.